when you have two brothers in the ring, they're going to have an edge. Right. Because there's something that brings more than the wrestling. It's, it's blood. And they say blood yeah. is thicker than water. And I never understood why. I heard it all my life. Blood is thicker than water. But now I know. You know, there's a... And you needed to be tight when you were fighting uh, teams like the Road Warriors because, you, as we say, it is a lot of acting, but when you were facing guys like the Road Warriors, those were pretty uh, serious individuals who had to Believed be... Believed in like, themselves. Yeah. And these yeah. guys were bouncers. These guys, uh, let's say, had a lot of testosterone in them, as all the wrestlers, most of the wrestlers did back then, and they were mean. You know, I'll tell you something. Um, there was something magical about meeting those guys here in our home territory first. Because there's something that made me the man that I was uh, in the business. It's um, the pride of being in front of my people. Um, many times I've had some incidents, uh, small incidents when I was starting, 77 to 85, let's say, on the road at Kansas City or anywhere that I just turned my back and I let it go. I let it ride right. because my pride wasn't hurt. It was that night and I say, yeah, it was hurt a bit, you know, and I knew I, I didn't look too good in that and I was wrong, but I didn't care. I didn't want to risk my life for it. Right. But here at home, I would risk my life for my image every day I walked in the ring. Because you're representing your whole family. Because I'm representing the whole country. Yeah, the, whole yeah, the province. province and the country. Yeah, yes. my father, my uncle, everything they, they, they build. Yes. So, so, so therefore, then any, anything, and, and that's why, um, uh, I, was in a, I was a different man when I was at home. I, I felt I had the support of the people, and I think through all that experience, the people know they felt that. Sometimes I did things, I stood up for myself, where I, 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 another, where, where, where I may have not have done it, you know, if they didn't, if, 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 if I didn't know they were behind me. Right. So uh, back to the Road Warriors, those were some very rough matches. Do you have any specific memories of uh, your feud with the Road Warriors? Definitely, definitely. My first uh, match I had with them was in the Colisée de Quebec, in the Quebec City Coliseum. And I was with my younger, actually the, 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 the latest brother of the Arma. Uh, was, and he was... He had a back injury or something. Yeah, he had a back, but that was before the back injury. But he was like, he was more... Arma did wrestling because it didn't work out in what he wanted to do in life. Wrestling right. was a secondary job for him. Right. He only, uh, he's part of a successful uh, body shop. Yeah, exactly. He's got a great garage. He's, he's done well for himself. And that's what heart, his heart was when he went. But he had a rough time there. And my brother Eamon was saying, ah, come on, come with us, come with us, you know. And so he came. So Arma was not a complete wrestler. He, uh, and, and, and it's almost like uh, you go into a competition and you look at your opponent and before and when you look at your opponent you know he's he's scared or you know he's he's not confident and and i didn't i didn't like the fact that uh, dino bravo and them booked me and arma against the road warriors because <laughs> it was like i need everything i could get here you know right. like uh, and uh, so when we got into the ring uh it's funny they uh, they took it to arma quite a bit and i was so impressed because when they came to me i've been in the business for like five six years yeah. and and when they came into me i started giving drop kicks they start bumping around and and, and and bumping around and 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 i remember coming back to the dressing room where dino bravo went to see Roro. He said, what the fuck are you doing sorry said, what are you doing <laughs> yeah you can't fall around like that for yeah, yeah. but he said a jock you know a jock yeah. uh, so that made me feel good yeah, about they that respected they you. respected me you know but and at the same time they were destroying people and they were killing everybody yeah. so the rougeau name the yeah. rougeau power in quebec helped me a lot